refuting reports of flight evacuation. <laughs> All right. American Airlines is refuting reports that a flight <laughs> evacuation was spurred by someone who passed gas. Today, the airline says that foul odor was actually caused by a mechanical error. Because, you know, the smells are kind of one and the same. In a statement, Raleigh Durham International Airport confirms passengers were not evacuated from the plane. American Airlines says people affected by the, by scent. the scent received medical help. After passengers exiting the plane. It sounds it's like it's more like a foul odor than a scent. When Look, you think if of the you scent. need medical help. <laughs> well, more bodily functions in the news this morning. The next time you pass gas, make sure no police are around. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas in Phantom. The officer. I mean, don't laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> after the man was already arrested for DUI, <laughs> according to police reports, of St. Cruz, I can't even get through this. <laughs> he passed the gas so loudly, the officer said it was quote very odorous <laughs> and created. <laughs> this is the Juvier uh, start of the uh, the carnival. Started 6 a.m. this morning, and we've got Lakeisha and Aaliyah here. And as you can see, they've been taking part in this. Tell us what happened this morning. So basically, we just get like really dirty, get a paint, you throw the paint around, powder, and the still pans are playing, and everyone just starts singing along to the still pans. And we get really, really messy, <laughs> evidently, really messy. I can't imagine you can see very much. See, the thing is, I actually can, surprisingly. I actually can, yeah. I don't think I would, but, you know. And how long have you been coming to Carnival then? Oh, since I was little. So my yeah. dad's been taking it since I was young, so yes. It's just brought up in us. <laughs> how, much, how important do you think it is for the area, for the local Probably community, you know, this culture that the Carnival brings out? It's very important. Like, they, can't, they can't knock it off. It has to... It's just within us. It's just within so, us. Why, it has would to you, why would you knock it off? I'm sorry. Oh, don't do it! Oh, here we go. The paint. Here we go. Oh, dear. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's a bit of paint on me. Great. That's... That's... that's oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It was going to happen, wasn't it? It was going to happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, an emergency <laughs> 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 Because this next story is so tragic, I cannot be laughed. Investigators believe a bomb caused the explosion on a plane which has just taken off from the Somali capital of Mogadishu. The blast blew a hole in the side of the plane, and one of the 74 passengers on board was sucked out. <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at this. <laughs> Today could be the day I lose my job. <laughs> and no, it was not part of their act. The two elderly men crashed their minivan on their way to the local fair. The driver, 83-year-old James Billingsley, a.k.a. Dimples the Clown, collided. <laughs> he missed the entrance, but when he tried to make a U-turn, he slammed right into an SUV. They're okay. Police say Dimples was wearing <laughs> oversized clown shoes, but police say <laughs> that they did not play a role in the crash. <laughs> Brian oh. has been laughing <laughs> for the past two minutes now. I can't believe you made it through that story. And nobody oh. was helping.